Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Gus Teas Plants. My name is Gus, and in this channel, I talk about plants and teas. Lately, about teas more than plants, which is going to be the focus on this video, a brand focus. I'm going to be focusing on the brand Magic Club Hour. Um, Magic, Magic Hour. It's where you can find them on social media. It's a women-owned company where it's pretty much geared towards loose leaf teas and special blends where you have you know your blends of like black tea with vanilla and spices and what have you matcha everything tea related there's even a store here in california in ohio california where i'm from california so it's about two hours away from los angeles it's like a little tea shop where they also sell teapots and what have you but um yeah let's do a little brown focus shall we on that company club magic hour i order their sampler set for their holiday collection and I also order a full size tea from this collection as well so if you're interested in um, this new company to me I think they've been in business since 2000 or so just keep on watching so it's owned by Sina Musica Sena Musica, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Um, she is even an author. She wrote two books. And I just love her enthusiastic, you know, charisma, her YouTube channel. You can also find her on Instagram. And so she actually ethically sourced her teas from Sri Lanka, Ethiopia. She also has a plethora of different teas. And she's a master blender. So everything that she has is, you know, sourcefully crafted crafted and I think she has very unique blends her packaging like I said is beautiful she has amazing packaging she imports her glass cases or her vessels from Netherlands so it's a uh, violet glass let me just show you guys what you can expect if you were to order the full size um, look at this beautiful tin right here so this is from their from her um, Christmas collection this is the magic hour it's a pumpkin spice cake batter breakfast tea this one has a blend of three black teas. I believe she has Sri Lankan black tea. She also has uh, puer black tea, which is amazing. I love puer cake. If you watch my channel, everything about puer, and um, and then there's also Rwandan black tea in here. So it's it's a, it's a plethora of black teas blended with spices like nutmeg, cinnamon, cake, um, cake flavoring, vanilla flavoring, vanilla bean. It's beautiful tea, and like I said, the glass is beautiful. It smells incredible and yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I think this is a beautiful packaging and this is what grabbed me into purchasing from, from Club Magic Hour. And so I was like, oh my God. So I bought the whole thing, the whole full size cake and it was amazing. So I had to go back and order um, her actual sampler set where you can taste like I said, six different teas in here. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. So here is what you can expect if you were to order from her. Now Zena is more so into like the um, chakras and just drinking tea for meditation, for health risks, for health wellness. Um, but she's also into like, you know, the zodiac signs. She has a collection based on every zodiac sign and um, every blend is different. Um, you can see how she looks right there. Um, she also gives you like an uh, ingredient list and also recipes for how to make her teas into lattes. I love making that pumpkin cake batter as a tea latte with milk and sugar. I also add um, um, a little bit of honey. Sometimes I put a little bit of maple syrup and it just makes such a delicious, exquisite tea. Um, but anyways, she sends you a lot of good little things to look at in her um, note card. But anyways, so here is the box and uh, let's dive in they're all packaged beautifully and this is all the seasonal Christmassy blends so let's go ahead and get started with the first blend here so this one is pumpkin spice chocolate truffle this is an herbal blend and I think it's beautiful um, a lot of these blends I noticed that they're um, a rooibos blend so if you're not into like caffeine teas this is really good selection so this one here has Organic rooibos, organic honey bush, organic ashwanda, organic cinnamon, organic ginger, organic nutmeg, Peruvian chocolate chips, chocolate liqueur, coconut palm sugar. It also has cocoa fat, um, organic Peruvian cacao powder, and natural flavors. 
it's a rooibos blend guys like i mentioned i think it's beautiful i'm not gonna open it but it looks phenomenal her presentation her bottles are just i mean her wrapping alone it's beautiful and that sounds delicious a lot of chocolate so like a very chocolate heavy um tea this next one is the pumpkin spice fireside chai look at this one and this one is something that I'm not quite familiar with because well, I don't really like the taste of like spicy teas, but maybe this will work. So this one here contains, or it's a rooibos blend once again with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, organic orange peels. It also has pepper, organic nutmeg, and compliant extracts. And it also has, um, and that's it. That was kind of like a awkward, I mean, ingredient list, but um, yeah. I don't know if it's peppercorn or what kind of spicy pepper it is in there. Um, is it a ghost pepper? But um, that's nice. I am a little bit worried about this one. I'm not sure. I might throw it in in a giveaway. Who knows? The next one I have here is the Magic Hours Pumpkin Spice Marzipan White. This sounds delicious. I'm into white tea actually now. And so this one is beautiful. Let's look at the ingredient list here. This one has bimodon white tea as a base, silver needle. It also has cinnamon, apple chunks, persimmon fruit, cardamom, and natural uh, natural flavors. And it also has vanilla powder. It's I'm not, it's not caffeine free. It's white tea, so it has a slow trace of caffeine. This will be an, an amazing tea for like a morning rush or for like an afternoon tea after you come home from work, per perhaps just to relax. And I like the packaging. It's a pink little packaging bottle. So that's kind of nice. I like that. Um, the next one, I believe this one I already have. The next one is also something that I'm, oh my God, excited about. So this is the pumpkin spice. This is amazing, guys. I This one is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful, like for all of them. But this one, along with the previous one, the white modan, it's something that I kind of want to try already. This is the pumpkin spice caramel oolong, oolong tea. The base of this one is a oolong tea. It has organic Sichuan oolong, organic Tiqua Jing oolong. It also has cinnamon, ginger root, black currant, apple chunks. It also has monk fruit and vanilla powder. Now, I'm not sure if I like that it has monk fruit because teas that have been pre-sweetened with like stevia or stevia or kind of like a monk fruit for in this case, it kind of just deviates with the flavor for somehow. So I'm not too fond of that. Um, I'm just gonna wait for me to try it and see if I like it or not. The last tea in this box, in this set, is the one that I bought the full size of and I am super happy with. This is the pumpkin spice cake batter um, breakfast tea. Um, like I already mentioned, I already gave you guys the ingredients, but just once again, let's do it. Once again, this one has uh, Puer black tea. It also has biodynamic Sri Lankan black tea, organic Rwandan black tea, black currant, cinnamon, vanilla bean, cloves, nutmeg, and the natural flavor extracts with vanilla powder. Yes, guys. And um, I don't think I was aware, but after taking out all of the teas, I noticed there is like a little gift. I'm not sure if it comes with the set, but it is this little, um, how do we call it? Like a tea casket for like brewing your tea, loose leaf. Let me get rid of this box. <clears throat> this little set right here. Um, I already own one. Not in, it's silver. So now I have a golden one here. Let me do a close up on this one. If the camera can focus. But um, yeah, I already have one of these. So this is the second one that I have now. And yeah, you just pretty much put in your loose leaf tea. You plop it in there. And then you just put this in a cup and then swirl it around and then you have your loose leaf tea ready to go in one of these. Um, it's not my favorite though because you need to be really selective with the tea that you brew in this because if you do one of those oolong teas where the leaves just expand so many times, the original size, it will kind of open this up and then you'll have a mess in your cup. So I kind of don't really use this actually, it's not something that I gravitate towards but it is a nice addition to add for if you're beginning your tea, um, it's your tea life drinking habits. <laughs> it's it's a nice gadget to have because you never know when you might use it. I'm drinking, by the way, Harney and Sons tea. Uh, 
2023 coconut um um Chinese New Year tea. Um, I still have COVID. I don't really have much taste buds or scent. So I've been holding off on drinking um, loose leaf teas and I've just been drinking my uh, tea bags. And so this is why I'm drinking Hardy and Sons um, New Year. It's a good blend though, I like it. Anyways, I left a tea at the end because it's not part of the collection. It's just a tea that I decided to add because why not? And it is their matcha, matcha tea. Comes in a black little packaging wrapper. This one here is the almond matcha. Look at that beautiful logo right there, almond matcha. Let me read you guys the ingredients on this one. A direct trade organic sancha green tea, organic almonds, black currant matcha green tea, and organic stevia. Once again, we go here with the stevia on this type of teas, and I noticed that she uses a lot of natural sweeteners like stevia or uh, monk fruit. Um, so I'm not too fond of that. However, I do think that she makes amazing blends. Um, I've only tried two before. I've tried her um, pumpkin spice, and I believe I've tried uh, a rooibos chocolate strawberry covered one that I drank. Um, from a sip by subscription box way back when and I loved it um, <clears throat> now something that I must confess that I need, think she needs to work on if I can give up any pointers out here keeping it 100% real with you guys is when I order my pumpkin spice cake batter tea um, I believe it was like around $70 it's expensive it's like almost $70 and then with taxes um, she does have a coupon code for I believe 10% off of your first purchase and I use that but um I do want to say that for the amount of price that you will pay I would at least expect not that it's necessary but I would at least suggest to add a little sample a little three ounce or not three ounce a little three gram little bag of another tea to try in every purchase at least so that you can at least have your customers try that sample and maybe order it later down the road if they like it I paid um, almost like I said $70 and I just got what I paid for I didn't get any samples or anything else um, it's not necessary but it's an incentive for customers like myself to try more teas she didn't need to add a, set, a sample for me because I went ahead and ordered more because I loved her quality of the tea so maybe that's what she's going for but um Anyways, I just had to throw that in there. Um, nonetheless, though, like I said, the teas are amazing. The flavor is exquisite, and I think she has amazing teas. I love them all. Um, thus far, I've only tried two, but the packaging, the presentation, her atmosphere, her charisma, it's enchanting. I love it. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have ordered from Magic Hour, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. What tea should I try next if I... If you guys can pick one of the teas that I have here. And also follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of uh, tea talk in my Instagram channel. And on TikTok as well where I talk a lot about, you know, the teas that I'm drinking, the tea of the day. It's much easier to maneuver and easier to work with as opposed to YouTube where I have to edit the video and do this and that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Kapun karigato. Goodbye.